This will be a trip like no other. It will give those that travel with us a unique and life-changing perspective of our planet. For most of us, escaping the constraints of gravity is something we've only been able to achieve in our dreams until now. Virgin Galactic is now on the final stretch, becoming the world's first commercial space line. Our suborbital space trips promise to be the most intense and wonderful experiences that our passengers have ever had. We, and I hope you, will be traveling on a spaceship owned and operated by Virgin Galactic. Our spacecraft have been designed so that each of our passengers will have the room and the freedom to enjoy the amazing sensation of weightlessness. Large panoramic windows will allow you to see clearly the curved Earth over 100 kilometers below and the colors of the fragile atmosphere protecting our vulnerable planet. It will also be at the heart of our ability to offer a breathtaking journey in an environment which will be as safe as we can possibly make it and, of course, in the style that Virgin is so rightly recognized for. We had spent many years on a frankly fairly futile search for technology that could be developed into a vehicle which would meet our specifications for safety, environmental impact and commercial viability and of course the potential for a great customer experience. But Routin Spaceship One and those flawless history-making XPRIZE flights in 2004 suddenly changed all that and we grabbed the opportunity. We showed that it is feasible for industry to develop and fly manned spacecraft. But the more important thing is that what we did on our program is to develop safety solutions. Spaceship Two has a unique feathering configuration. And what that does, it allows it to re-enter the atmosphere in a carefree fashion. Now what that means is the pilot or a computer doesn't have to perfectly line it up it can come into the atmosphere at any angle and it'll straighten itself out without the pilot having to fly that or without a computer having to do it. It's just that simple. The beauty of BERT's feathering device on Spaceship Two is that it combines the best features of re-entry using basically the atmosphere of a break and not having to fly a flight profile with the fact you can then change the shape of the ship at 50,000 feet back into a normal glider and land on a normal runway as people would do in the shirt sleeves environment of a normal aircraft. We're looking at only a three day training schedule for a flight into space. We will have psychologically attuned you to the greatest ride of your life. Well, the day that Bert won the X Prize was a hugely significant one for us. I remember chatting to Brian Binney, the pilot on that epic flight. He said it was a journey of contrast describing the enormous forces that pinned him to his seat and the tremendous noise as the spaceship powered out of the atmosphere. Then suddenly, the dramatic and absolute silence of space. The vibrations go away, the shrieking, shrilling noise of that rock motor disappears and you get this instant karma of weightlessness. Someone's pulled back a uh, stage curtain for your eyes only, this black void that space is a, a mystery, but you know, you get a sense of its majesty as well. There's this panorama, lights you've never seen, it's majestic. And separating these two extremes is this, you know, thin blue electric ribbon of light. That's the atmosphere. You cannot appreciate the experience just by looking at a magazine cover, just what it is like to take it in with your own eyes. And everything you feel in your body is the same way, it's, it's wow. Since the announcement in 2004, the project has reached and passed many important milestones. We have a truly inspiring design for our home at Spaceport America in New Mexico. An ever-increasing family of pioneering customers. And of course, beautiful new vehicles, now in an extensive test program before they start commercial service. Our first Virgin Galactic astronauts are booking their own place in history as pioneers of a new space age. And for them, the journey has already started. 
being part of this club is a great learning experience. You're meeting great people. You're, you're really contributing to something very different. From doing the events with uh, Richard in the Caribbean to New York to LA, it's just been a whole exciting and totally amazing experience. I've gotten to meet people from all over the world. Uh, people in all types of occupations and all different backgrounds from which they had a desire to go into space. Like many of our fellow future astronauts, I've already completed my centrifuge experience with my son. It was an incredible ride and great preparation that really brought home to us just how awe-inspiring it would be at that moment when the Virgin spaceship is released from the Virgin mothership and starts its supersonic climb to space. Virgin Galactic will be using clean and safe technology, technology that is many thousands of times more environmentally friendly than any previous manned space vehicle. Already, Virgin Galactic's carrier aircraft, White Knight 2, is the world's largest all-carbon composite aircraft. With the end of the oil era approaching and climate change progressing faster than most models have been predicting, safer, cheaper and more flexible access to space is essential. Access to space really does matter for the future of mankind and currently we only have 50 year old space systems to get there which are very expensive and very environmentally damaging. But if we can get robust, safe and more importantly environmentally benign and very cheap access to space we can do things up there that were never imagined a few years ago. Well I hope you will be as excited and inspired by Virgin Galactic's mission as I am. And see you up there.